Good afternoon, this is meteorologist John Wettenkamp with the National Weather Service in La Crosse, Wisconsin with your severe weather briefing. We're looking at the potential for damaging winds Monday morning and uh, possibly some isolated tornadoes and heavy rainfall as a line of severe thunderstorms make it, makes its way across the upper Mississippi River Valley. You could see another round of storms Monday afternoon, however uh, there's considerable uncertainty in whether or not these storms would redevelop. A potential hazard from the afternoon storms could be damaging winds and large hail. So impacts from the severe thunderstorms Monday morning. Uh, if these storms track through the area, the Monday morning commute uh, will, be, will be impacted with strong winds and heavy rain. Uh, those that are outdoors, especially campers, should be prepared to seek shelter. Uh, these strong thunderstorm winds can bring down trees and large branch branches and also power lines. So the storms are expected to move in from the west early Monday morning with a damaging wind threat approaching the Mississippi River around uh, 7 to 8 a.m. And then at 7 a.m. the storm should be ongoing with uh, damaging winds possible and also iso uh, isolated tornado uh, could not be ruled out. In addition to the strong winds, the storms will be capable of producing a quick 1 to 2 inches of rainfall which could flood urban areas and uh, potentially lead to some lowland flooding, so we'll have to keep a close eye on that. So forecast confidence for Monday morning is increasing, especially for damaging winds. And then for the af Monday afternoon storms, overall the forecast confidence is low. These storms may develop just south and east of the area. So risk level from tornadoes, uh, isolated or tornado or two is possible. Uh, damaging winds will be the primary hazard here with widespread wind damage possible. Uh, in addition, we could see some large hail and heavy rain. However, the storms will be moving quickly. So here is a visualization of what we could be seeing on the radar by uh, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Severe thunderstorms moving in from the west, approaching the Interstate 35 corridor. And keep in mind, this, this could change a bit. This is uh, currently what uh, the radar forecast is indicating. Uh, primarily a damaging wind threat with this line of storms. And the storms continue marching eastward uh, across southeast Minnesota and portions of northeast Iowa and making its, w making its way into western Wisconsin with uh, damaging wind threat and, pot and possibly some heavy rain. And the storms continue their eastward movement through north central, southwest, and central Wisconsin and the damaging wind threat continues through the mid-morning hours. Then by the mid to late morning, the storms exit the area and push south and east. Then in the afternoon, we could see storms redevelop across uh, portions of northeast Iowa and southwest Wisconsin. Then so those storms, if they would develop, uh, push south and east of the area by early Monday evening. So again, we're looking at an elevated risk for damaging winds, especially Monday morning and then could see storms redevelop Monday afternoon. So expected risks are primarily from damaging winds. Again, if you're outdoors or camping, uh, be prepared to seek shelter indoors uh, in a sturdy building. Stay away from windows. Uh, heavy rainfall is also possible. We can't rule out an isolated tornado or two. The timing will it'll be moving into the local area, approaching uh, southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa, around 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. time frame, uh, then continuing through the mid to possibly late morning hours as it marches eastward uh, into western Wisconsin. So Monday afternoon, if storms redevelop, uh, we could see a potential for damaging winds and large hail. But again, uh, they, this uh, may, may, may not occur. Uh, the atmosphere may not have enough time to uh, recover from the early morning storms. Thanks for listening. For additional information, check our internet homepage or check us out on social media.